Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Delit card to review today. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot two, medium high work rates, two star skills with a three star weak foot. In-game player traits, he has the power header traits, the solid player trait, in-game attributes. He has 75 acceleration and 79 sprint speed for now, right? Because this is obviously a road to the knockouts card, so he could get upgraded in the future, depending on how Juve actually does in their groups. I will say one thing right now when it comes to Delitz card, guys, and it is that his rare gold card is actually really solid because the way that defenders work this year, it's really nice when the players have their own unique body type when it's like a little bit bigger because the way that they do challenges is actually significantly better. So Hopefully this card translates really well because obviously I've tried some different center backs um, to see which ones I like the most. So with the lit on a shadow chemistry style, he's going to have 85 acceleration, 89 sprint speed again, because this is a card that could get upgraded. The pace is the most important part to get upgraded, right? But with the dribbling, the dribbling is actually set up okay for a center back, but we will be experimenting with that in game because it is also upgraded. His defensive stats have been uh, really, really improved, especially with the shadow chemistry style. But not only that, the medium high work rate is very, very important for cards like this, right? So shot power is on 83 passing stats, um, not really existent on this card. He has 80 short passing, 66 long passing, but it's a defender, so it's not a big deal at all. Uh, dribbling, he has 88 reactions with 86 composure, which to be fair is actually very good. Base card stats for defense set up really nicely, especially since he has the unique body type to work with. And then for physical stats with that unique body type and a six foot two height, he has 94 strength and 84 aggression to work with, right? So some really cool stuff there. Uh, we also have Vidal over here that we could review um, as like a side player because Giyu actually ended up packing him. But we'll be using the 4-3-2-1, guys. You guys know the vibes. I'm just using this formation mostly to kind of just uh, test out the players. We'll maybe attack from time to time, but most of the times it's just going to be us trying him out defensively as much as possible. So, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. But with the uh, very good defensive awareness there, to be fair. Didn't have to do anything there. Gonna control that there, too. He sees the pass there. Doesn't make it. The lid just scored an own goal for me. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Yep, we got a possession based tackle there. The driven pass off here. Legrand switch from the first time pass. Those should come off nicely. I don't expect it to be any different. We'll take that. Good little finish right there with the finesse shots. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, the lit against Lukaku. Let's go. We'll take that. Lukaku is kind of hard to outbody, man. He's actually like pretty solid this year. Nice, the lit. Well done in the air. Well positioned to intercept that. Nice. Yeah, I just kind of had to hold that angle there just in case you want to go for any of those attackers. Other than the own goal, he's doing perfectly fine. Like I said, I, I liked his rare gold card before. Uh, he has the body type for it for the... Uh, meta of this game. It's, it's kind of similar to like Koulibaly. Koulibaly has that body type for the meta of the game too. Yeah, so you can see right there that I don't actually um, 
hold the R trigger because my player is already making the run. So I'm already getting ready to do the double ball roll. Let's go for the ground switch over here. Nice little double tap here. That was a beautiful goal. Nice. Well done. Well done. I will take that. I should have gone for a shot cancel right there against the goalkeeper, but I kind of messed up. Nice, Elitz. Well done. Just have to block that general shooting area. Lagrand switch with the lit again. Yeah, I just had to block that general area. I wasn't sure how he's going to attack against me there. Stuck in a foot there. How fast do you go back into position, though? This guy's going to attack here. Oh, Delit! I wasn't even controlling him. Nice. Good defending. Nice and composed. Nice and composed. Get into the right areas at the right time. Pass it off. There you go. Oh, cool. That was like really possession based too. Pushed it forward as well. Oh, I actually got the slide off there with him too. Let's go. I overcommitted him like pace wise like crazy and I still got that. That's dope. Oh, went through his legs. No. We're good though. We're good. I did a really good challenge there, so I was really unfortunate. Oh, nice. That was a good turn there, too, actually. Like, a little bit of emphasis because of his dribbling stats, obviously, but... To be expected with a defender most of the time, to be fair. Perfect. Clear it! Let's go! Oh, wow, he actually saved that. No freaking chance. That's crazy. Nice! Pedro with a great run right there. That was dope. Let's go. Puts the pressure on him there. That's good. I like the card, man. You know, I like the card. Uh, I guess the two main things when it comes to meta of the game is, you know, the dribbling and stuff could be a little bit better. Nice, we'll take that. Sorry, I saw the goalie push me, so I was like, you know what, we gotta work the space here a little bit, you know? I like it, I like it. But, uh, yeah, in regards to, uh, in regards to Delit, it's pace and dribbling stats. Like, if you really want, like, the full meta characteristics. But the fact that this card can get upgraded is really cool, especially if he gets that pace boost, you know? Oh, good slide challenge there, too. It's dope. Goes back into position quickly as well. Yeah, so those I expect to uh, concede most of the time, especially if you have, like, the pace behind with Werner. I didn't really block that area well enough to initially begin with anyway, so... Got another opportunity to test out pace here. That one I mistimed really badly. I definitely mistimed that badly. But you can see that the pace is not like super up there, obviously, and it works with his body type a certain way as well. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Delit card. So um, I think he's pretty good. I don't think he's like crazy special, obviously, as of right now. But this is a road to the knockouts card, okay? So the thing that you have to take into consideration when it comes to this Delit card is the potential upgrades in the future. So you have to look at him from a base perspective, okay? Because he has 
a really good body type with his unique body type. Six foot two height is great to work with. Medium high for work rates. The main things that I felt like needed to be improved on this card for the upgrade aspect of it is going to be in the acceleration and sprint speed. Yes, his dribbling agility and balance is set up the way that it is, but with defenders in this game, you just want them to be as fast as possible. But a lot of the times I needed the pace, it was because of me over committing the space a lot, right? And that's because we're obviously testing out the center back as much as possible. But there's obviously center backs that when you get into those situations where, you know, your pace is too low for someone like Delit, where if you had someone like Varane or someone faster, they probably catch up to those players and do really well defensively, right? So again, with the SBC factor uh, being a huge part here, the fact that he could get upgraded, that's the main thing that needs to be improved. But guys, he does have the base characteristics to be a very, very good card, right? So if you have any plans in the future to unlock this card for some sort of Juve links or some Dutch links or some Serie A, it could be something that's really cool to work with, in my opinion, because if you take a look at Juve's group stage here, uh, they actually have two wins so far. So in this group stage against Zenit and Malmo, they should be doing well against them. The Chelsea game is the one that's a little bit more complicated, obviously, right? But... I think it's a pretty decent group for him to actually perform and do well in and get some upgrades on his card, right? And again, I think they, these uh, cards, they go through the knockout stages as well. So if they progress even further, then it could be something really cool. But you know what? I think this card is like one or minimum two improvements from being a very, very solid center back, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. The price at 83k for right now is kind of up there for right now okay but again there is the concept of the there is the fact excuse me that he is an upgradable card right so the fact that he could get upgraded that's the thing that you're working with um, and i think that he can be very very good in my opinion so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys